Hello and welcome. My name is April Ray, CEO and founder of the Introvert Mogul Studios. Thank you so much for joining me on this video tutorial that we're doing in our design tool series and we're looking at Fotor.com. Similar to PicMonkey, um, the features are basically the same. To me they have a few, each one has their own special features, but I usually go to Fotor.com in order to design social media stuff like banners um, and things like that, mainly banners because they have a really great preview screen that you can see what your um, your design will look like on an actual Facebook uh, banner or, some, or a Twitter banner. And Twitter is really hard. Uh, YouTube is really hard as well to, to put together because they have these weird um, dimensions that you have to use in order so it could not only fit on your computer desk, your desktop computer, but your phone and a tablet. And so that's why they have all these different dimensions. And most people will usually um, outsource that because it gets it just gets irritating but I still like to go the old-fashioned way and just do it myself and so I use Fotor for that so we're gonna do a quick we're just gonna do a quick rundown of Fotor now it's a free online photo editor so you can uh, edit your photos um, you can make them look like professional photos you they don't have like with PicMonkey they have like you can take off your wrinkles and you can make them look airbrushed they have PicMonkey has stuff that you can do like Photoshop would do to make your pictures look really great this is more a basic um, in your design so they have um, the edit which would be you would already you would pull and I'm not gonna pull any pictures from my folders because my computer will crash that's just the nature of the game today until I get my new computer that's what we're working with um, you can do a collage and you can design this is the front page I did a review of Fotor last year it looked a lot different they didn't have as near as many features as they have now and if you scroll down they kind of give you some um, learn more try it now kind of feel of things that you can do with Fotor um, different features and they're going to be always updating um, their features uh, in Fotor as well now it's free and paid they have a free version and a paid version um, the paid anything that you see in the desktop you'll see this little diamond and, and you won't have access to that image or to that tool unless you're paid but they have a lot of stuff that's for free which is really cool so we're gonna start with the design tab and just give it a minute to load and it'll give you some options for social media tabs or social media designs All right, so as you, the options that they give you are a Facebook cover, a poster, card, Instagram post, Facebook post, YouTube cover, Twitter cover, Google Plus cover, and then of course you can make a custom one where you start from scratch and you just use your own images. So we're going to go to the Facebook cover and if you look on the side here, it gives you a bunch of templates. This is new. They didn't have this before. It was very basic before they had shapes and stuff and that was it and you would just create your own, uh, uh, add your own images. So they have a lot of cool little images that you can use and all you have to do is pick one and click on it and it just goes right to your um, canvas. Now everything is um, editable so you can edit the text just by clicking on it. You can edit these little um, doohickeys here, these arches, you can edit these lines over here, you can edit the image itself, you can um, import your own photo in there. Um, you can do that either by clicking this open here and it'll give you several places. You can either take it from there or if you hit the drop down it'll give you, you can take it from your computer, from a Dropbox if you have images there. You can take it from some of your Facebook images, um, your Picasa images, I don't know what that is, and from the World Wide Web. Um, over here is the preview that I was telling you about. So when you click this I here, it will show you what your 
banner will look like on Facebook, uh, all with your um, profile pic in hand. So a lot of times that gets in the way when we're designing and we don't we remember that we only have a certain amount of space because our, our uh, profile pic is going to be th in the way. And if you check out over here, it also shows you what would it look like, what it would look like on your phone as well. So you can try and adjust it if you're looking at the phone and you can see, well, my image is kind of overlapping some of my design, you can go back and you can push it to the side and just edit it so that it works a little bit better. Let me go ahead and resize that down here. So there's lots of things you can do. If you want to change the template, all you do is click on it and you can change it. Um, if you click on the text here and here's the image, here's the text symbol here you can add another text, another text box wherever you want. Um, you can click on that image and you can change the text. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, I like that font. I've got to find out what that font is. <laughs> okay. Um, also, when you click the text box, it gives you this little palette here. So you can add um, color to your palette. Actually I'm on the image so it gives you image effects as well. So you can make it black and white. You can just do all kinds of things with the image. But I want to click on the text and then the text you can add different colors if you wanted to do that. I think it has to all be highlighted. Yeah. Um, you can change the font but I really like that font so I'm definitely going to try and find out what that font is. Um, you can add transparency so if you want to make that image or that text look lighter you can just scroll back and forth here. Um, you can add layering so layering is just like Photoshop so if you have an image and a text and you want one to overlap the other or one to go under the other, other you just use this layer tabs here um, you have the clone tab where you can clone the image and it's whatever's highlighted is what's going to be affected. Um, you can also trash it if you don't like it or you can lock it. Once you have your design done, um, you can lock all the elements into place so they uh, don't move around. Alright, and then you have some other basic shapes here or I should say tabs here. You can add stickers and they have a plethora of stickers that you can add and if you notice they have the little diamonds um, if you want a fancy heart you'd have to be a paid member to add one of these uh, fancy hearts and you just click and drag or you can just click on it and uh, it will add a cute little fancy schmancy heart um, and but you know they have a whole lot of free tabs as well which I think is so cool that you can just add a bunch of stuff. Obviously this is looking a hot mess but I just wanted to show you the different features and what those tabs looks like. So it's a click and drag or you can just click on it and it immediately pops up onto your canvas. Okay and so let's see after the stickers they have uh, shapes. Now if you look at this palette here these are very basic. That's actually what they started with when Fotar first came on the scene. That's all they had were these uh, lines and then they had these different shapes here. Um, they just added these other stickies. Um, and of course then you have your text tool and then I believe this is background if you wanted to add some sort of background color or change a background or something like that. So and that's the basics. There's nothing really complicated with this system. I love this tool for creating banners and things of that nature but you can do all kinds of things with it. So that's it for now. On the next video I'm probably going to try and attempt, I'm going to try to attempt to make a banner but like I said my computer, until I get my new computer, it's iffy because it might crash. Who knows? But we're, the countdown begins for getting my new computer. So anyways, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this and got something out of this. Don't forget to visit photor.com, F-O-T-O-R.com, and play with the design tool. It's really cool. All right, I will see you on the next video.